Hey guys and welcome to a mechanic gunsmith task guide gunsmith part 16. For this build we're going to need to modify M4A1 to have 60 or more durability, 44 or more ergonomics, 250 or less recoil, weigh 5 kilograms or less and have a 60 rounder extended magazine, a CAC QD SS NT4 556 by 54 sound suppressor and it has to be the flat dark earth we also need to get the ar-15 alexander arms mk10 handguard as well as it has to have a trigicon reap ir thermal scope don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful so of course starting off we're going to need to get the m4a1 now here in the front of you is the full parts list a 556 by 45 surefire mag 5-60 standard 60 round magazine the alexander arms 10 inch rail the ar-15 556 by 45 260 millimeter barrel a ar-15 alexander arms mk-10 handguard an ar-15 radiant weapons raptor charging handle an ar-15 viltor mrs 5 56 by 45 upper receiver a fab defense glr 16s stock a hue over modded rubber grip a cac qdc 556 by 45 flash suppressor kit the cac qd ss nt4 556 by 45 sound suppressor this has to be the flat dark earth a cac qdc vertical grip a mk12 low profile gas tube gas block sorry the Trijicon Repair Scope I Cup, the Repair Thermal Scope itself, and then the mount for it, the UNV DLOC IRD Site Mount. So, starting off, we are going to go and grab the M4A1. We're going to head over to Peacekeeper and go to Tier 1. This is where you can do the barter trade for the M4A1, which is three CPUs and three CPU fans, or Tier 2, you can buy it just directly outright for $556. Now, if you was to buy it from the flea market, make sure you get one that looks like this. If you can snag one of these, these do come with the 260 millimeter mounts, which are also better for the build. So we're going to actually snag that right there. But if you are going to be using the gun for the build, you need to make sure it's over 60 durability. So if you go to the cogwheel at the top left hand corner and type in 61 right here. Now you can see that oh, it only shows the guns that are over 61 durability now there is one part which is find in raid only you cannot buy this from the fenders and this is the cac qd ss nt4 silencer now you need to make sure that it is this version the tan version not the black one once you've got this we are now going to head over to jaeger and we're going to go to tier 2 we're going to be buying the mount for this. You do need to get 4D batteries for this. And um, this is the mount for the Reap IR. And then tier 3 is the iCup for the Reap IR. Now we're going to head over to Mechanic. And we're going to go to tier 1. This is where we're going to grab ourselves the MK12 low profile gas block. And now we're going to head over to tier 3. And this is where we're going to grab ourselves the Raptor charging handle. Once you got that, scroll down just a little bit. We're going to grab ourselves the AR-15 Alexander Arms MK10 handguard. And then we're also going to need to grab ourselves the mount, which is the Alexander Arms 10-inch rail. Now we've got these, we're going to head over to Peacekeeper and go to Tier 1. This is where we're going to grab ourselves the CAC vertical pist uh, vertical grip once we got this we're going to head over to tier 2 and this is where we're going to grab ourselves the cat qdc flash suppressor kit once we got this we're going to head over to tier 3 and this is where we can grab ourselves the um the 60 round magazine where you're going to need to get yourself two cpus or two printed circuit boards as well as a gm counter once we got this, we're going to need to scroll down just a little bit and grab ourselves any one of the hue over modded grips. Now we got these, we're going to head over and grab ourselves the AR-15 by 45 barrel. Now talking about this barrel, you can actually get it from Mechanic at Tier 2 for a barter trade for 
only three Marlboro cigarettes as well as two a problem. Once you got that um, barrel, we're then going to hit tier four. Once we're on tier four, this is where we're going to grab ourselves the AR-15 Viltor MUR-1S upper receiver. Once we got these, we're then going to head over to Skia finally and go to tier three. We're going to grab ourselves the Fab Defense GLR-16S stock and then over to tier four. This is where you're going to be grabbing yourself the IR. You can always get it from the flea market and it isn't actually that expensive, but early wipe it is it, it can be definitely expensive. And now I'm going to show you how to build the gun. The best thing to do in this situation is drag all of your parts down into an empty part of the stash, right click the gun and then click disassemble so it goes into all of its parts. What we're then going to do is grab ourselves the M4A1 um, actual part itself and we're going to grab ourselves the Colt buffer tube. Once we got this we're going to start building the gun up. First thing we need to do is put the MURS upper receiver onto the gun and then the barrel. Next is the pistol grip, the CAC QDC um, muzzle brake and then the silencer. We're going to need to put ourselves the gas block onto the gun and then the MK10 handguard. Once that's onto the gun, whack on the mounts for it, the um, rail. And then whack on the grip. Now we've done this, whack the charge handle onto the gun, the GLR-16 buttstock, the 60 rounder. We're going to whack the mount on, then the repire, and then finally the eye cup. And this is the final build for the Gunsmith Part 16 right here if you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with head over to prana.tv discord we do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a sherpa system so if you just need a bit more help than normal then we are there to help you hopefully you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards don't forget to check out piranha.tv as well that's a one-stop shop for all of your guides tasks keys all those kind of things in one location hopefully you guys found this guide useful and i'll see you in the next video it's gonna say <laughs> Please turn up your hacks, man. Here. I beg of you. Are you dead? Yeah, maybe we should see if we can... Oh, yes!